So in yesterday's web dev tip, we created a new user story where we want to be able to give the users a choice of where to send people when they're creating a Rickroll URL. And the first step to doing that is to actually define where we're actually going to send the users or, or what the choices are of where those users are going to go to. Now it introduces a bit of a problem because if we're posting data or sending data from the front end to the back end and we're not properly sanitizing it, then there's a potential for a malicious user to send the uh, user to somewhere where we don't want them to go to or even just send data into our database that we don't really want to be in there. So we're going to limit the user's choices and we're going to do that by creating a library within our mono repo uh, that has that list of allowable URLs. So uh, over in Visual Studio Code, uh, there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can do it straight from the terminal and I'll show you what the command is in just a second, but we're actually going to use the uh, NX uh, VS Code plugin here to actually do the uh, hard work for us. And if you haven't seen this before, it might be a good idea to install it if you're using NX at all, um, but it just helps you to uh, run the commands on the command line uh, without uh, having to remember all of the various different commands themselves. So we're going to generate a new library. So if we click on this uh, generate button here, we've got all of the options available to us in our workspace. And we're just going to create a node library. This will have TypeScript installed for us so we can use some types uh, and uh, various different things if we need to. Uh, but if we just click generate there, it takes us to this window that gives us different options. And the only thing that we really need to figure out is uh, the name for this. And this library is going to be shared between both the front and the back end. Uh, so I'll call it something like common definitions for example and you can see here down on the command line it's not running this just yet uh, but this is the actual command that would be run so it's nx generate null node library and then just passing in that name uh, option as well and that's all this window is doing here really so if we click run now what will happen is we'll create uh, a new uh, section within our libraries folder uh, called common definitions and if we go over and take a look at that now just in here in the libs, you can see we've got a new uh, directory, which is basically the library, and it is a project within the mono repo, so it's got all of the associated uh, TypeScript and testing uh, features set up as well. But as we said, with the web app and also the API, we don't really need to worry about that too much, uh, especially not for our tutorials at the moment. So what I'm going to do in the source folder, uh, we've already got something set up here. I think it's just got some placeholder bits and pieces in there at the minute. Uh, it's just literally returning a uh, function uh, which can be reused anywhere within the mono repo. So I could put something in here, but I might just delete this for the moment uh, and create our own file uh, just so uh, to show you how this works. So within the library uh, folder, we're going to create a new file. So we'll say allowed URLs, for example, and that's a TypeScript file. So the first thing I'm going to do is just create an interface uh, to describe the allowed URLs that uh, we're going to contain. Uh, and they'll only have a couple of properties. Uh, so we'll say uh, an allowed URL interface. So this interface will just describe uh, what information we want to keep about the URL. And there's only two things really. We just want to keep the URL, uh, which is a string, and also the title of it, uh, which will also be a string. And then from there, we can define, in fact, we'll export a constant variable of allowed uh, URLs. I'm oh, sorry, allowed URLs, which is equal to an array. And that will, array will be uh, an array of these allowed URLs. So if we go back over to our API, uh, where we've got the uh, redirect that's currently set up, you can see this is the URL that we're currently sending to. So it's going to be this specific URL itself. So if we save that and then post that into here as the URL, uh, we'll just want to give that a, a title as well. So we'll say this was the uh, official uh, Rick Astley music video, but we might find that there's other things that we want to send the user to as well. And you can populate as many uh, allowed URLs in this array as you like. So I'm going to add another one in here. Uh, this is actually a video of uh, Rick Astley being Rickrolled himself. Uh, so we'll say uh, Rick Astley gets uh, Rickrolled. There's a title of it. And the title, if you're wondering, is just so that in the front end app, especially, uh, we'll be able to display a title to the user. Or otherwise, they're just going to see a random uh, YouTube URL, uh, which they won't necessarily know what it means. Uh, and then the, finally, there's another one, uh, which again is another YouTube video. And this one is just actually a talk show with some people talking about Rick Rolling. So uh, Rick uh, Roll uh, 
uh, talk show. So uh, obviously you might want to find your own URLs. It doesn't necessarily have to be a YouTube link. It can be just anywhere that we're just going to redirect the user to afterwards. But these are just some examples so that we've got some choices uh, for the user. So we've set up the allowed URLs. We just need to make sure they're exported from this common definitions uh, module. So if we go into the index file, uh, this file no longer exists, but we can export everything from the allowed uh, URLs file, which is the file we were just working on. And that will make this available throughout of our mono repo. So just to show you that, uh, we'll look in the uh, Rick and Roll web app uh, that is the API there. Let's just go into the source here, uh, into the app, and and into the main.ts file, so it's where all our TypeScript code is. So what we should be able to do from here is import uh, the allowed URLs. So we'll say import allowed URLs from, and it's actually in a package called Rick and Roll, which is our overall project name. And you can see there we've got common definitions. Oop, and I think it was uh, lowercase uh, a for that, uh, which is why that's complaining. And you can see now we've got in our main TypeScript file here, we've got the allowed URLs, uh, which is an array. Uh, and obviously we've got access to the title and the URL inside of here. So uh, we're going to leave it there for this tutorial, but in the next tutorial, we'll work on the front end app, uh, importing these allowed URLs, and then populating some kind of drop down list uh, to show the user a choice and to give them a choice when they're generating their short URLs. Uh, but that's it for this tutorial. Make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips.